Leadership power energizes your supply of human capital strengths. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Leadership Power Paradigms. This is Bill Thomas, your host and presenter for today's episode. Hope everybody is well today and ready to almost get started here. And we're just going to wait a few more seconds and then we're going to jump right back in to jump into our episode for today. So, uh, I think we've done that and we're happy with those results. So, let's get to our, our slideshow and we'll begin in a second. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Leadership Power Paradigms. This is Bill Thomas, your host and presenter for today's episode. And we'll take the next 14 or so minutes to explain your leadership powers, the workings of social energy, transformational influence, systems of synergies, and human capital strengths to produce purposeful, meaningful, and bountiful results in your organization. So let's get started right away. In this song, we see David confirm and receive the confidence, consistency, and capability that he needs to lead and succeed through the energizing favor, blessings, and compassionate care which Almighty God preserves for the people of God. Notice how God strengthens and shields his people through God's Everlasting provision of protection, encouragement, faithful commitment, guidance, support, empowerment, a force for special treatment, safety, security, respect, and caring concern, assurance, governance, aid, help, and loving welfare towards the people of God. Leaders can do what PepsiCo had to do to turn around its stagnant performance because several key competitors had already established a footprint in PepsiCo's platform areas. So to help the management team of PepsiCo respond to and effectively overcome those challenges, Nanette Burns of Business Week magazine was told that Pepsi decided to employ the power of two at Pepsi and that the new leadership team made its plans to transform itself and keep the snack and beverage empire growing through service and product line innovations, focus, focusing on its strengths and investing in its best and biggest opportunities. What are the actual strength areas of your human capital? In the upper left quadrant, you see the attributes, which we could call human abilities. The lower left list of resources are the human strengths. Those capital assets on the upper right are the human insights, and the lower right are the human impacts on the world. So how can leaders synergize, source, and supplement the awesome energy-based potentials of their radical change, transformational, or innovation growth programs? Before we can discuss this idea called leadership power, we had better quickly review what energy is. We now know that our understanding of the biological processes occurring within an organism or ecological niche depends on our acceptance of the fact that these biologic processes are organized around information. It is those information sources, absorptions, and exchanges which form and sustain the biological or life-giving, life-sustaining, and life-regenerating forces which we find at work in all socially based activities, which are those actions which involve or occur between two or more people, society's ecological niches, which are a sector or area of a greater environment, 
in our social ecosystems, which tend to be self-contained units within one part of a larger environment. What are the primary elements of leadership power? It's anything which is centered around, involved with, or influenced by these three attributes. And how do you become more powerful? It happens when you augment, extend, empower, develop, improve upon, or add more to any of those three elements. In short, these three elements represent areas of your actual power as a professional, person, or as a leader. All three are in your possession at this very moment, and yet all three can be greatly expanded, extended, and improved upon through education, coaching, mentoring, and even meditation. In my experiences of working with all types of leaders, I have found that most leaders invest very little time, attention, or money into their own development and strengthening of their power elements. How about you? When it comes to investing your resources into building up your power, are you the same as most leaders? There are important reasons for using the power of your leadership abilities, strengths, talents, and insights. Every leader will need to involve her or himself in making inroads and opening up paths to discover new solutions and more opportunities for overcoming or dealing with your challenges. You'll want to robustly and continuously produce improvements and you should devote your time and attention to shaping new innovations, practical inventions, and conducting investigations on the actual boundaries of your frontiers. Physical scientists call the phenomena of syntropy the importation of information in an organized and orderly fashion. Wise leaders realize that their keys to success depend upon being thoughtful, relying on sharpening their cognitive abilities, and constructing centropic, centropic systems to help them order their imported streams of information. Most people know something about synergy. Effective leaders use collaboration, coaching, education, and consultation to improve and empower the performances of people. Every communicative, cognitive, and collaborative act must be as significant as possible. The mark of professionally competent leaders is revealed in the single important fact. Their actions tend to be highly significant, artistically creative, and functionally entrepreneurial. Leaders who become strategically successful understand how supplementing their social system synergies means communicating the value of their vision, the meaning of their work products for customers, and for their employees who are doing the work, these leaders are always giving and building trust among their stakeholders while being trustworthy themselves, and these leaders eagerly delegate their own power and authority to all their employees. Game-changing leaders know that these are the types of leadership actions which pay off and produce massively profitable transformations in the intellect and spirit and development and growth of every active contributor in their organization. In their transformation begins with a capital T article, consultants Michael Busey, Stephen Hall, and Doug Yakala of McKinsey and Company described their approach to successfully implementing a transformational turnaround and organizational culture in this way. Quote, nothing about our approach to transformations is especially novel or complex. It is not a form formula reserved for the most able people and companies, but we know from experience that it works only for those who are the most willing. 
Our key insight is that to achieve a transformational improvement, companies need to raise their ambitions, develop different skills, challenge existing mindsets, and commit fully to execution. Doing all this can produce extraordinary and sustainable results, end quote. Leaders could use these three key behaviors suggested by Joe Folkman of Zenger Folkman as a source of synergetic power of their social system for their own leadership toolkit. To sustain the energies of your newly developed strengths, the McKinsey consultants recommend that leaders, quote, try to bottle the lessons of the transformation as it moves along and to ingrain within the organization a repeatable process to deliver better and better, better results long after it form formally ends, end quote. I believe that when your leadership strategies are disciplined applications of your abilities, when they empower you to give and take direction both during your experiments and what happens to you, and when you continuously evaluate and diagnose every shortfall in your performances, you will begin to experience more promising and positive changes in the game being played. Employee engagement is a power generating activity and because leaders always employ their power in the appropriate context, you need to ask yourself if you want to achieve an ideal, support someone, or create something. Your vision requires the substance of plans or maps and models, stakeholder or system developments, and all your calls to action demand a purposeful, meaningful, and bountiful set of outcomes. So in their April 2016 article entitled The Four Building Blocks of Change, McKinsey consultants Tessa Basford and Bill Shaniger report that they find that transformations stand the best chance of success when they focus on four key actions to change mindsets and behavior, fostering understanding and conviction, reinforcing changes through formal mechanisms, developing talent and skills, and role modeling. In a word, your structural supply system of transformational influence is simply the model you use to deal with, overcome, and exploit the potential of your leadership challenges. It should be no surprise to leaders that their power uses and applies the energies of socially driven information for the purposes of helping their stakeholders to achieve ideal goals, support their growth and development, and enhance and enrich their creations. However, what we discussed in today's episode was using those information-based energies of your leadership power to source, supply, and supplement the synergies that your social system requires for its continued growth, transformation, and prosperity. This ends today's lesson. You're looking at the catalog of materials, training, and coaching support, which are featured in my Leadership Power Paradigms Producer Tools program. You can see that this program is designed to dramatically improve your leadership performances and use your leadership strengths to comprehensively empower the, the achievements of your people. Right now, this program is available to you at my lowest possible price, so I urge you to visit the webpage at www.1-im forward slash lpp-tools, and let me give you that again, it's www.1-im.com forward slash lpp-tools, and that's the big thing that you can see in the middle of the slide there on your screen or you can click on the enroll and get started now button that you see on the right side of your screen if you're in our webinar room 
And uh, when you do click on the Enroll and Get Started Now button on the right side of the screen, uh, it will open up a new browser tab or a new browser window for you so you won't lose your place in the webinar right now. And if you like what you read on that page, uh, I encourage you to go ahead and get going now. Don't forget that there is my famous no questions asked, no risk to you, money back guarantee for this program so you really have nothing to lose by enrolling now in this awesome educational experience. And while you're uh, clicking on that uh, Enroll and Get Started Now button or you're typing in the www.1-im.com forward slash LPP dash tools into a new browser tab, uh, I'm going to run back over to my control panel. And in my control panel, I have uh, two bonus gifts for you. And I'm going to send those along to you. So you just give me a second. Oh, excuse me. And all right, there you go. Um, I've just sent you the links to the two bonus gifts that I have for you today. One is the five leadership uplifter task pro. I'm sorry, five leadership uplifter task infographic. That is a one page PDF document. So I encourage you to download it and print it out. And that one sheet of paper, since the infographic actually fits on it, uh, when you print it out, um, put it on your desk or put it on a wall or someplace where you can see it and refer to it as you go through your day as a leader. And um, it'll give you um, a uh, some ideas about what you should be doing as a leader as far as your tasks are concerned. There's five of them. Uh, there are five relatively simple tasks, but I always say that those five tasks are the key to um, increasing and improving your effectiveness as a leader. So um, it's designed to be sort of like a cheat sheet for you. Uh, a little a little map that may uh, make sure that it keeps you honest when it comes to your leadership performances and uh, performing your leadership tasks and the second gift that we have for you is the words with wisdom paper that is an eight page pdf document and you can download that as well and um, you can either read it on your computer uh, i always suggest and a lot of people like to do it this way is uh, they print it out and then they can write on the margins and write in between, you know, spaces and stuff. And it just, um, it contains a, a whole host of various um, uh, strategies and techniques and tips and processes that you can follow to help to improve your leadership effectiveness. And um, that's not like the the task um, infographic, but it's um, it is designed to provide you with some pretty pretty good wisdom. Some of that wisdom comes from other people. Some of it comes from me. Some of it comes from my experiences with uh, various clients. So um, it's a it's a, a a great little resource to have and and refer to and and really get to the point where you almost know most of this stuff uh, by heart and i i think you'll find that your leadership performances improve greatly uh and so that's those are the two bonus gifts for you um for those of you who are watching us on the replay recording on the right hand side of your screen you will also see a question area a little question box and uh, I urge you encourage you and hope that you will take advantage of that um, you can type in a question or a comment and then when you finish typing in your question or your comment, simply click on the email us or email now button that you see uh, right next to that box and it will automatically send me an email and in that email it'll have your name, it'll have your uh, email address because you needed to have both of those to register for this webinar or the red webinar re replay. So. Um, that's automatic, so you don't have to put in your name, you don't have to put in 
um, your email address at all because we've got that already and it and it'll just help you to basically concentrate on typing in the question or comment that you want to make and I answer all questions and I answer all comments and I do it uh, as a as a reply to your email basically so that way um, you know uh, other people uh, may have had the same question or comment but they won't know because uh, the conversation now is between you and me okay um, and I love to give as full an answer as I possibly can uh, many times I'll even send you links to other resources that you can refer to uh, concerning your question or your comment and your question or comment can be about anything to do with leadership or management okay so uh, that's my that's another one of my gifts to you but that's for people who want to know more so all right um, that's all of that um, I thank each and every one of you for joining us today in today's episode of Leadership Power Paradigms, this is Bill Thomas. I've been your host and presenter for today's episode. God bless each and every one of you. Godspeed to you all, and I wish you all the very best of success in all of your leadership endeavors. Take care. <music>